I'm planning to wait outside the bank so that I know that I can withdraw it at midnight so nobody else gets it. Developing now emotional words from a young Baltimore mom back in early June after $1,000 in temporary cash assistance funds were stolen from her benefits card. And now, almost four months later, this problem is still happening. Fox 45's Amy Simpson joins us live as more Marylanders are coming forward. Amy? Yeah, Mary, our newsroom continuing to fill those questions and uh, calls, messages about this problem as it continues. Many of the victims are families who rely on these benefits for things like rent and for groceries, just basic bills. But just as we learned with that a woman you just heard from back in June, these benefits are still not being replaced. For Elizabeth Boltiera, it happened September 2nd. I woke up, I went to the ATM. They said I had insufficient funds. Within hours of her monthly temporary cash assistance benefits hitting her account. And it said that there was a withdrawal in the amount of $900 from Coconut Grove, Florida. And it happened at 1.58 a.m. This mom of three in Northeast Baltimore sharing her benefit card statement, which shows 900 bucks were withdrawn from an ATM in Florida, a state she says she hasn't visited since the spring. See, I never used my card in Florida. Without this lifeline of benefits, Baltiera says September has been a battle. Like I said, I use that to take care of me and my three kids, and so... It's been hard. In June, another Baltimore mother detailed how these benefits support her and her kids. It means that I can pay my rent. It means that I can pay my BG&E. It means that I can pay the renter's insurance. But these two women are far from alone. At a hearing with state lawmakers last week, representatives from Maryland's Department of Human Services said as of last month, there have been 693 cases of EBT fraud, which includes both the temporary cash assistance and food stamp programs. There has been an increase in reports of EBT fraud over the past two years. And Maryland has not been spared from this trend. And while state officials say this is nationwide criminal activity and work is underway to track down the fraudsters, none of the victims are being reimbursed after benefits are compromised. Federal regulations are very clear in that federal funding cannot be used to reimburse stolen SNAP benefits. In the meantime, I'm going to change my pen on the first. This Baltimore mother is counting down to her next deposit, saying she's replaced her card and be at the bank right at midnight before somebody else can try to do it again. Feeling like it's her best option to protect her benefits. It's not right, and it seems like nobody cares. And while this woman's benefits were uh, stolen all the way down in Florida, she tells me she received a letter from the state earlier this month saying they found no evidence of fraudulent activity on her account. Uh, meanwhile, this afternoon, Maryland DHS telling me once again that it's working with state and federal law enforcement trying to track down who's responsible for this fraud. They say it is a nationwide problem. And the monetary value of fraud in Maryland just from June, July, and August totals nearly $296 thousand dollars reporting live tonight amy simpson fox 45 news